Although SpaceX and Tesla are completely separate companies, SpaceX and Tesla do benefit one another. In this video, I want to explore just how much SpaceX helps Tesla. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. A few years ago, Bloomberg put out an article entitled, Tesla and SpaceX Share More Than Musk. In that article, it stated, the cross-fertilization of knowledge from the rocket and space industry to auto back and forth, as I think it's really been quite valuable, Musk said on Tesla's recent call. So as Elon Musk mentioned, there is definitely a cross-fertilization of knowledge and other expertise between Tesla and SpaceX, but just how deep does this go and how much does SpaceX really help Tesla? One of the big ways that Tesla benefits from SpaceX is in the advanced manufacturing techniques that they've been able to learn from SpaceX. According to a Space.com article that was published in 2012 entitled, What Do SpaceX and Tesla Have in Common? That article stated, because of the technical requirements involved in lifting a rocket into space, SpaceX engineers are experts at creating lightweight vehicles using advanced materials. Some of this expertise has trickled down to Tesla's vehicles, Musk said. For example, the Tesla Model S has an aluminum body chassis. In fact, it's the only all-aluminum car made in North America, he added. Similarly, SpaceX vehicles, including the company's Dragon Space capsule, benefited from Tesla's battery research. So it's no secret in the automotive industry that making a vehicle with a lot of aluminum parts can be very challenging. Ford definitely found out a lot of these challenges when they were developing the aluminum-bodied Ford F-150. It's definitely important that the Model S have a lot of aluminum components because you need to keep the weight down and this allows the car to be more efficient. Another manufacturing technique that SpaceX helped Tesla with is something called stir welding. According to an article from Electrek published in May of 2018 entitled, Tesla and SpaceX are partnering up to create new materials to use on Earth and in space. That article stated, Tesla has benefited from SpaceX's expertise of high-tech manufacturing techniques such as stir welding, a technique SpaceX uses to join large sheets of metal like the ones used for the aluminum tank of their rockets. It was revealed last year that SpaceX transferred friction stir welding equipment to Tesla. But beyond the aluminum expertise and the stir welding expertise, SpaceX has also helped Tesla troubleshoot issues in the manufacturing line. According to the same Bloomberg article that I referenced earlier entitled, Tesla and SpaceX Share More Than Musk, this article stated, engineers at Tesla Incorporated found a quality problem earlier this summer with a cast aluminum auto part that was taking hours to diagnose and fix. They were stumped, so they called in the rocket scientists, literally. Tesla engineers reached out to their counterparts at Space Exploration Technologies Corp, or SpaceX for short, who recommended the use of ultrasound sensors to isolate the problem. The solution saved Tesla about eight hours of work per car, an eternity on an assembly line aiming to ramp up to mass market volumes. Another big way that SpaceX helps Tesla is with shared engineering talent. According to an Electric article that was published in February of 2016, that article stated, Tesla and SpaceX hired Apple's alloy expert, Charles Kuman to lead materials engineering at both companies. Kuman is now Vice President of Materials Engineering at Tesla and SpaceX, where he is responsible for delivering materials innovations, something he is very familiar with, after over two decades spent in materials science. There are also other material engineers that are shared between Tesla and SpaceX, including Martin De Jong. If you look at his LinkedIn profile, you see there that he is a materials engineer at Tesla and also currently a senior materials engineer and metallurgist at SpaceX, both at the same time. I don't know of any other auto manufacturer that has access to engineering talent like this. 
With these very talented material engineers, Tesla is able to develop their own alloys that are best used in their manufacturing processes to remove potential problems with manufacturing and also to increase the strength and maybe even reduce the weight of their vehicles. And on top of that, they're able to develop new technologies within their vehicles. One of the new innovations that Tesla was able to bring out because of expertise from SpaceX was the ludicrous mode found on the Model S and the Model X. According to an Electric article that was published in July of 2015, it stated, the new ludicrous upgrade might have been made possible due to knowledge acquired through rocket engine manufacturing at SpaceX. Tesla replaced the main pack contactor to use in Connell instead of steel. Inconel is a space-grade super alloy well suited for extreme high temperature environments. And as this article points out, this same alloy is used in the manufacturing of SpaceX's Super Draco engine. Another material that was developed by SpaceX that will be used by Tesla is going to be the 300 series stainless steel that is going to be found in the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk talked about this and called it 30X cold rolled stainless steel. That of course shows that it's a 300 series stainless steel and then X tells us that they're not revealing what the added material to make that stainless steel alloy is. But we do know this is a very specialized stainless steel that SpaceX is also using to manufacture their Starship. SpaceX's Starship is going to be a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth and orbit, to Moon, Mars, and beyond. If the material is strong enough for the Starship, it's of course going to make one heck of a truck and it's going to be a very strong exoskeleton on the Cybertruck. Tesla has also benefited in some financial ways with their relationship with SpaceX. According to a CNBC article that was published April of this year in 2020 entitled, Here's How Tesla and SpaceX Worked With and Paid Each Other in the Past Year, they said, Tesla revealed in a new SEC filing some of the ways that it works with CEO Elon Musk's aerospace venture, SpaceX. The filing shows related party transactions that included the purchase of $600,000 of Tesla car parts by SpaceX in the first quarter of 2020. That article went on to show a few other purchases that SpaceX has made from Tesla, including SpaceX purchasing $1 million worth of battery components from Tesla in 2019 and $1.2 million more of battery components in the first quarter of 2020. Also, as mentioned, SpaceX purchased around $600,000 of car parts in the first quarter of 2020, but SpaceX also purchased somewhere around that same amount, $600,000 of car parts, in 2019. SpaceX is also paying Tesla around $700,000 for a custom tool, which the automaker will build at its machining facility. Tesla Energy sold a system to SpaceX for $300,000 in 2019. Now, obviously, SpaceX buying parts from Tesla does benefit Tesla a lot, but there's another way that this helps both companies, and that's by achieving economies of scale when buying parts. This allows SpaceX to buy parts from Tesla at a cheaper price than they would be able to buy them elsewhere. This can also potentially help Tesla have a lower parts cost as well. One other way that SpaceX helps Tesla is in cross promotion and free advertising. A recent Electric article pointed this out entitled, Check out the Tesla Model X that will transport NASA astronauts to SpaceX missions. As you can see from this picture, they have a NASA branded Model X that got national and global attention as SpaceX sent their first manned crew to the International Space Station. I have no doubt there were people following this launch that were introduced to Tesla for one of the first times because of this event. This is definitely a big way that Tesla has benefited from SpaceX. So these are just some of the ways that we're aware of how SpaceX has helped Tesla, and I'm sure there are many other ways that we don't even know about. Please let me know in the comments below if you know of any other ways that SpaceX has helped Tesla. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well.
I also wanted to thank these Patreon supporters, which help me make content every month with their monthly support. If you want to find out more about the Patreon community I have set up, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.